Ever? Yes, microphone check for you. Hundred nine hundred news four thirty eight. Blah, blah. Nowhere you think that I need to know about this. Hi, one two three four five. Well. We've got you covered. This is 27 News at 11. We begin today with a live look over the capital city as the winds, the temperatures, and those clouds start to increase. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Mark Charter. 27 Storm Track meteorologist Blaze Keller is leading us off today. Blaze, good morning to you. Going to be nice to get a little reprieve from those chilly temps, right? Yes, yes. We're going to dip into those. I shouldn't say dip. We're going to climb into those 40s here, not only today, but also tomorrow as well. Our next system is right around the corner. And for northern Wisconsin, they're going to get the snow, and a lot more of us are going to be sitting underneath warmer temperatures and rain as we go into your Thursday and Friday. Right now, clouds are just going to continue to increase. We are going to stay dry through your Wednesday, so that is some good news. If you got to do anything outside today would be the day to do it. There's our winter storm watch north of Eau Claire and as well as Wausau. So uh, as we look ahead to maybe Friday, Friday night, if you were planning on maybe going to uh, northern Wisconsin this weekend, know that you're going to be running into some fresh snow. Already in the 40s, Camp Douglas, Montello, Lone Rock, as well as Bosco. Well, everybody else is kind of catching up there. Prairie du Chien at 42 degrees. Southerly winds, they are working hard this morning. Already about 15 to 20 degrees warmer than how we were going into the late morning on Tuesday. It's going to be a breezy day out there, folks, but we're into those 40s and 50s. We're talking rain totals and the inevitable cool down in the full forecast. Good deal, Blaze. Thank you. A silver alert is out this morning for a missing Eau Claire man who could be in our area. Police say they're looking for 67 year old Wayne Zeeler. He left his group home up in Eau Claire and his phone has been pinging in the town of Willow. That's near Richland Center. If you have information about where he is, call the number up on your screen. New at 11, Republicans are proposing a bill that would create some exceptions to the state's 1849 abortion ban. Republican Assembly Speaker Robin Voss says he hopes Democrats would be open to clarifying the exception that surrounds the health of the mother, along with creating rape and incest exceptions for up to 12 weeks into a pregnancy. Governor Tony Evers did respond this morning, saying in part, I won't sign a bill that leaves Wisconsin women with fewer rights and freedoms than they had before the U.S. Supreme 
Supreme Court overturned Roe. We've got Governor Evers full statement and details on that bill up on our website WKOW.com if you'd like to take a look. Starting today, patients and visitors no longer have to wear face masks at SSM Health. 27's Melody Guernsey has more about why the health care provider decided to make this decision actually two months before federal health emergencies expire. SSM health officials say they have been monitoring infection levels county by county and decided to move toward pre-pandemic policies because cases have been so low. As we mark three years of the COVID-19 pandemic, the national public health emergency is set to expire May 11th. SSM health officials say they may reevaluate this decision in the future, but right now they feel confident about taking this step towards pulling back COVID-19 safety measures. It was always our intention to reevaluate our universal masking policy at the end of respiratory illness season. And that typically starts in the fall and ends in spring, just about this time. So it was a very natural process to go back to that original CDC guidance. Thompson added that masks for health care providers will become optional and pointed out that people with known or suspected COVID infections at SSM Health will still need to wear masks and be screened. Masks will be available for anyone who still wants to wear a face covering. Back to you.